guys thanks for tuning on in got an interesting video for you today so i recently had a really bad acne flare-up like really really bad as you can see i'm still dealing with it um if you're here to say hey don't pick at your face i get that i know this is not that video though so you can click out <laughs> that's all you're gonna comment just gonna aggressively put that out there so anyways i'm going to do a acne prone skincare routine video which will come up hey cats you either like each other or you don't i got a kitten this is momo momo is a lot of energy so anywho I um, am going to do a acne prone skincare routine because that really helped to clear everything up quite quickly. I just went outside. Uh, I was really sweaty. So I washed my face. So I'm just like letting my skincare cool down. I didn't do really anything other than apply a uh, moisturizer and my sunscreen. So for this video, I don't have a like acne specific primer um so i just use my sunscreen as a primer it's a super goop like invisible uva uvb primer that is silicone so it's actually really good to wear under makeup i have a couple of acne specific makeup products to try really they just have salicylic acid in them but I want to see if they color match me. So we're going to go ahead and get started. All right. So this is the All Mint Clear Complexion Makeup. It has 2% salicylic acid, which is pretty decent. It's pretty high. I also have the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Blemish Concealer. And this has 0.5% salicylic acid. So usually when I have acne flare-ups, I don't want to do a full face of makeup. I've got two options. Um, this is the water tint by Chanel. It's just like a hydrating moisturizer with a little bit of color. And this is the Illa, um, what is this? True Skin Foundation Serum. It's got aloe as the base in it. So it's pretty, it's also part of Sephora's Clean Beauty. So it's pretty decent slash good for the skin just trying to open this and I'm watching Momo be destructive, but we'll deal with it later. Um, so anyways, oh, there we go. Just break it open. So I'm going to pump this on the back of my hand real quick, just to show you guys. I think one of the key things with acne makeup in general is making sure that when you're applying it to your skin, that you have um, specific tools that you use that are just for when you have acne instead of using like dirty brushes and things like that so that's that on my hand i'm just gonna buff it out it looks a little actually no that blends in pretty decently all right so let me it looks pretty good it's a little lighter than my complexion i'm just gonna wipe that off with a baby wipe I'm filming like eight videos today so you guys will see this top quite a bit so I have one product that's not for acne, but it's hydrating under the eyes. So I'm also just gonna include that in this video. So this is one of the, I don't know if it's one of or the only, it's the Fenty sponge. I never use it, but it's clean. So I'm just gonna start patting in. I mean, when you have breakouts, it's better to not put anything on your skin, but you know, sometimes it's not an option or it's a bit of a confidence booster, like for me to put a little something something on the skin for those of you that might wonder this is lupus not acne so i don't expect the salicylic acid to do anything i'm also i didn't wet this mama likes to lift feet and hands it's kind of weird um so that's one side of my face done i could bring it down i'm not going to for this video because i'm gonna like wash this off <laughs> basically but it doesn't really smell like medicinal or anything. There's really not much of a smell, to be completely honest. I also didn't wet the sponge because this will give it a little bit more fuller coverage. Now we do have the concealer pen, so I don't need complete coverage from this. Actually, I will bring it down, get the beard area. But yeah, if I wet this, then the sponge would be huge. All right. So that's what the makeup looks like. It's very natural. It's slightly cooling on the skin and I like it. 
you can still see some of my imperfections which is fine that doesn't bother me i am just going to use this neutrogena concealer specifically on my blemishes not to do anything else because it does have the salicylic acid in it and other areas of my skin don't need that component i haven't done any research yet to say whether or not applying like multiple salicylic acid products like what the effect of that is on the skin so i would say don't go too crazy especially with skincare i'll show you guys like less is definitely more so when i do let me know if you want to see my full skincare routine because my acne skincare is very pared down but my skin looks amazing now because of my full routine so this is the neutrogena skin clearing with micro clear technology it's a blemish treatment with acne with acne with salicylic acid hey i can read uh conceals and treats blemishes and it's a natural looking concealer so this is the shade i don't know it looks a little white anywho you twist this up in here and you just twist twist is anything going to come out oh there we go all right so that's a good chunk just dot this in a couple of places a lot did come out not gonna lie so I'm dotting it where I have acne currently. And I'm gonna blend it out with the sponge. Mama, please don't lick my feet, it's weird. <laughs> so I'm just gonna just tap that in, not moving it around too, too much. This area does have a little bit of acne, so I'm fine with that. It's not making anything like look lighter. I mean, the foundation color is pretty spot on. you guys can see i would love to i'm not shopping this sephora sale but i would love to get a translucent powder that is either clean or specifically for acne just to keep it all kind of in that family but all right cool i definitely like this concealer it's not meant to like it's not like right here you can still see my acne and that doesn't particularly bother me like it's, this color is too light to really do anything about that. <laughs> um, but it did help with my other blemishes. So cool beans. All right, where is the top for this? Hey, <laughs> where did I put it? Is this it? No, that's perfume. All right, um, I, I don't know where the top is. Oh, there it is, okay, cool. So the other product I have, is the Hydro Boost Hydrating Concealer with Hyaluronic Acid in the shade Deep. This is what it looks like. It works to refresh dry, thirsty skin with a, with a hydrating core. So it's smooth and buildable coverage. I really hope this is the right color because I just annihilated the packaging, so I can't really return it. This is in the shade 50 Deep, I believe. For anybody that wants to know. Wow. So I'm gonna apply this to the back of my hand. I'm not someone that does the like bright, crazy triangles under the eye. That's interesting. So this is what it looks like. If you look at it though, that hydrolonic core is pressed in there pretty good. So I don't, I'm not, I don't get that just yet. <laughs> that part is not gonna be super smoothing or hydrating. Oh, wow. It's a little bit lighter, no scent, it's a little bit lighter than my skin color, which adds a slight bit of brightness, but when I blend it down, it's kind of the same. I mean, if I was like really pressed, I could just cover this up with something hydrating. I didn't plan to do that for this video, but we're gonna try it. <laughs> I think I found my like acne skincare routine on like, usually when I, right now, I have a lot of free time. <laughs> How to say, right now I have a lot of free time. So I am not really wearing makeup during the day. That looks really good. I mean, I could even, well, I don't have a good setting spray anymore. Otherwise I would set this with the spray instead of a powder. Actually, I do. This is the Mattifying Primer by Koki, so. Okay. 
All right, the cats are starting. Antihu, I really like this. This looks pretty dang good. Let me know if you've tried any of these products, if they worked for you. This is just me trying them, not a wear test or anything. I don't wear makeup for more than like six hours at a time maybe. So I'm not necessarily concerned about it like breaking down or anything. It is hot right now. I'm filming this in the summer whenever you watch this. <laughs> um, so I'm just like, I get sweaty and gross in general. <laughs> so I'll usually just like take a paper towel or um, a t piece of tissue and just like blot my face throughout the day. But this looks really natural. Looking at myself in the mirror sometimes what I see in the mirror doesn't translate on camera. It looks pretty good. So let me know if you've tried these products, if you would like to try these products, if you have, if they've broken you out, if they've helped any, um, if they've made your acne worse. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. Other than that, that is the video guys. Thank you so much for tuning on in. Some of you have noticed I have lost a few subscribers. <laughs> I am doing vlogs now, so you'll see some of that content if you wanna kinda of see behind the scenes of my life. Part entrepreneurship, part mental health, Part YouTube experience. I'm YouTubing. Wait, they're in the background. <laughs> um, so if that interests you, I'm not just going to be a pure beauty channel anymore. For those of you that don't know, I'm a course creator, podcaster, author, and coach of sorts. <laughs> I do a couple of different types of coaching. So I want my channel to reflect me as a person overall. So I will be expanding the things that I talk about. So hopefully you stick around. Give this a thumbs up if you either liked any of these products or like that I'm going in that direction. Um, I would really appreciate the support and feedback. So yeah. All right. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.